Greetings in the love and in the light of our infinite prime creator, the divine grid program. Namaste. Namaskaram. Welcome to yet another installment of the exciting tales and continuing saga of the cosmic throne and the interdimensional inquisitor, Valtor. For your consideration, dear esteemed viewer, for your entertainment, for your consideration, I think I already said that, I had some images rendered of Valtor in one of his dimensional roles. This is a uh, form that he takes on uh, when he's dealing here on this uh, level of reality involving Earth, planet Earth, Terra, Mother Gaia. And here's some uh, forms of Valtor to help kind of uh, enrich your imagination as you listen to these tales, if, uh, if you're at all interested. There's a uh, Valtor and various different, uh, well, that's not, that's actually uh, Nair Larfatev, but he's not in this story, so only be concerned with, all right, well, that's part of the story, not those symbols. So anyway, that was just a uh, visual, aid, if you will, images to um, enrich your imagination, because listen, I'm going to tell you, the thought forms of the fifth dimension are imagination and visualization. And when we free ourselves, our energies from being trapped within the 3D mutant matrix, the satanic matrix of negativity, and we begin to allow our resources to, to ascend, then we play, we have this playful quality with our, what goes on in the interior of our, of our, you know, mental landscapes, if you will. So I encourage everyone in whatever way you have, uh, what, you know, visualize, use visualization, imagination, uh, begin to, you know, have a more playful sort of um, experience with these energies, these, these types of thought forms, because that is actually what the fifth dimension, um, where we begin to integrate with it and integrate it and download it into this 3D reality. And, and yes, and you, be, you will see your 3D reality begin to change according to your imagination, your visualization, your vibe, all that ties in together. So here we go, folks. Hit that subscribe button. The Saga of the Cosmic Throne by Mark Thomas McGuire. And I, and I have to, I, well, I don't have to, but I like to use my middle name because if you go to Amazon and just search up Mark McGuire, it brings up a whole another genre of, <laughs> of books, okay? And it's not books that are uh, PG rated. Let's just put it that way. So if you want to amuse yourself, uh, possibly today, go search Amazon and just type in Mark McGuire in books and see what comes up. Hey, it's all good, but I just had to add my name in there, you know, uh, my middle name to kind of differentiate. And uh, so we continue on. Please hit that subscribe button, leave this video a thumbs up. The Saga of the Cosmic Throne by Mark Thomas McGuire. Valtor and the Hidden Hand of the Freemason. Valtor, the interdimensional inquisitor of the cosmic throne. Now, and let me uh, provide some insight on this concept of the cosmic throne. And when I'm using this phrase cosmic throne, I am actually in think this is the throne of God. This is the throne of source, which exists in galaxy 4555. This, this, this information was, is in throughout the Old Testament, the Bible, it was seated there with the Coptics, uh, the, uh, the original uh, priest of, of Atom, which all of this stuff has its lineage, uh, these light emissaries in one form or another, Horus, the creator God. Um, but this information, when I'm talking about the cosmic throne, I'm talking about the throne of light, the cosmic throne of source, of the creator, the infinite prime creator. This is headquarters, the cosmic throne, okay? This is daddy, mama, what, what have you. I don't want to particularly give it a masculine, but this is the energy that transcends all of these 3D concepts of masculine. It's just, you know, uh, we're used to, because of our enculturation and training, 
in training by the Freemasons, if you will, and other secret societies to think of things in a masculine sort of way. But that's what's gotten us in trouble to the point where it's an out of balance energy, where it's this ego, masculine ego of consumption, of domination, of conquest, blah, 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 all this stuff that we were reigning in now in this period of ascension. And we're, um, you know, the feminine, divine feminine, all that is uh, being merged and harmonized, the left brain with the right brain, et cetera, uh, and so on and so forth, ad infinitum, ad infinitum. Um, anyway, I've got to brush up on my old Latin, but here we go. We continue on, please. Valtor, the interdimensional inquisitor of the cosmic throne, had been tasked with investigating the suppression of knowledge about ancient artifacts and lost civilizations on Earth. His investigations had led him to the Freemasons, a secretive organization that had been rumored to be involved in many historical events, including the suppression of knowledge about the past. Valtor arrived on Earth and immediately began his investigation. He scoured ancient texts and visited museums, seeking any clues that would lead him to the truth. His search led him to a small town in Scotland, where he found evidence of a secret society that had been operating for centuries. Valtor used his interdimensional abilities to infiltrate the society, and what he discovered shocked him. The Freemasons had been responsible for the suppression of knowledge about ancient artifacts and lost civilizations for centuries. They had believed that the knowledge was too dangerous to be shared with the masses, and so they had kept it hidden away. Valtor knew that he had to act quickly. He used his powers to gather evidence against the Freemasons and then presented it to the Cosmic Throne. The rulers of the Cosmic Throne were outraged by what they saw and they immediately ordered the Freemasons to be disbanded. To be disbanded. The rulers of the Cosmic Throne were outraged by what they saw, and they immediately ordered the Freemasons to be disbanded. Valtor returned to Earth to oversee the dismantling of the Freemasons. He watched as their secret libraries were opened to the public, and as the knowledge they had been hoarding was shared with the world. It was a victory for knowledge and truth, and Valtor knew that he had played a key role in making it happen. As Valtor prepared to return to the Cosmic Throne, he reflected on what he had learned during his time on Earth. He realized that there were many secrets hidden away on this planet and that there were those who would do anything to keep them hidden. But he also knew that there were those like him who were dedicated to the pursuit of truth no matter where it might lead them. If you too, dear esteemed honorable and noble viewer and notable viewer, are dedicated to the pursuit of truth, no matter where it shall lead you, please hit that subscribe button, leave this video a thumbs up, and stay tuned for further information disseminations broadcast from the Umbanda New Earth Ashram for compassion and strength and truth, and the pursuit thereof. Namaste. Namaskaram.